previously on the Atherton Project. I think the race in Canberra, you know, it's going to be won or lost almost before the, the riders get to the, the event, you know. Goal for world champs is to win, you know, there's no, there's no other measure at Worlds. No one really remembers second and third and I've been training hard and I've been training well and I'm more focused than I ever have been in my life. I guess on the day we'll see who's worked out there. Son. We are in Canberra at local BMX track. It's like a cross between a BMX track, a snake run, and a landscape garden. You rad. Coming into Worlds, I've just been really focusing on, on four cross, you know, I'm not going to race down, I'm just going to concentrate on four cross and if there's a race that that I can try concentrating then it's, it's definitely the world champs, you know, it's a big event, there's no place like it to put all your eggs in one basket and just really go 100% at one discipline. It's definitely going to be a tough race, the course is pretty flat, I don't think there's going to be many big jumps, it's not going to be a course that suits me but that doesn't mean to say that it's not impossible, you know. I didn't see his gates being quite there. Gates aren't quite there, are they? What's going on, bud? Oh, Christ alive. <laughs> it's that first bit. Yeah. It's not even first your second, first pedal. Yeah. It's just the reaction time. Like everyone else, it's out of that gate, it's got the same leg speed as they have when they fucking hit the, hit the jump. Yeah. Or you're all like this. <laughs> you're like winding it up. Me and G have never like been taught how to gate, you know, we've always, we've always just taught ourselves and I do like hours and hours and hours of gates at home, you know, and like probably do more gates than most of the riders there except Graves and, and like it's obviously not working, I'm obviously teaching myself bad habits, you know. I just need to kind of go back to the drawing board and start again. I got a cold bath in the grubs room, hot bath in play court. I messed up qualifying. I, I changed my gearing and it was like a little bit too easy but it all it all turned out good you know I got a good first round and I've got a good half of the moto so you know I've got Graves all the way through he's going to be out in front and that's the end of it really you know I, but you know I'm like if I'm going to follow someone I'd, I'd rather follow him you know whereas someone else I'd be kind of wanting to get past because at any minute they could crash and the dude behind me would take me out as well so Jared's gone for gate one every time so far. Number nine is the dude that he's got in the first round. Have a rest off gates a bit, try some more lines. Let it be what it will be, you can't, you're not going to improve that much in the next fucking half hour of practice. The um, lines down through this fucking section here, this, this bungle bungle shit. You need to have like a few variations down. You need to know it like the fucking back of your hand. Because you just don't know what's going to happen. It's harder now, but I think when I'm actually psyched up and kind of 
up for it, then it'll be a positive, you know, because I'm not tired like I usually am, I'm not like half dead from riding down it, so I just need to get through this time now and put it to turn it into energy. managed to get through to, fi to the final, the fact still remains that all through practice I was concentrating on my gates, I was phoning Dale like earlier today trying to get like, you know, give him who's giving me advice and that's not the shit you should be doing at World Championships, you know? Like Clay said, this needs to be like the turning point, you know? This needs to be the, where the bullshit stops and you get your gate sorted, you know? Dan this year has been dealing with injuries, he's been you know, some things going on in his own mind that he's had to um, make some decisions about. And those have had an impact on his performances as well as the injuries. But I think now um, what you're going to see from Dan Everton is some clarity and some focus on, on where he is. And, and what the future is going to be like for Dan is he's, he's now looking at it with a different set of eyes. It's on you, bruv. <laughs> I think uh, having having won the stripes last year and having kind of seen what it's like to be world champion, I think it I think you almost want, want it more, you know. Once you've seen what it's like and once you've felt what it's like to be world champion, I definitely want it more now than I did last year. G, how does he deal with coming back as a world champion for the first time? If you look at world champions across different sports, it's usually the mindset that they bring to after they've become the world champion. What's the mindset that they're going to have to continue that? And that I think right now for the Athertons is, okay, we're at, we've been at the top of our game. How do we continue to go to the top of our game? Nervous, you know. He's got a lot hanging over him. Last year, world champion, Rach world champion as well, and obviously she's not here, so it's all on him. Everyone says it's pedally track and it's not his sort of track, but at the end of the day, it's the world championships, and it doesn't come down to whose sort of track it is or you know who it suits. It comes down to who can keep their head together and who can ride the best on the day. And, G's definitely good at that. When there's loads of pressure on G like that, you don't really enjoy it, you know, because you know how he's feeling. You know, Rach is at home and everyone's kind of spread out and, it, you know, it's, it's it's not a good feeling like it was last year, but I think that it's not it's not game over for him. He can definitely pull through and do it, but I'm, I'm just saying it's not the same feeling as it was last year, you know? Yeah. 
Mr. Fantasy Fly. Deal more the girl, straight kick in. Dates on the weekends, had them string like a violin. I would bug off your beauty, but only deep as a skin. Thought about me, helping you to see the mountains. You still in the fly cars with different Flirt with cats, blatant about it, tending to hit skins. But interesting, even though you flow with the crowd and you a popular gal, I still wow by possibilities of. Felt good a week, and then today just. That run was just empty, you know? I'm not pissed off, like, I rode well at the top and then the bottom I was just like pedalling, it was just like nothing there. So, you know, it's one of those days. World Champs means a lot to everyone and, you know, people are trying harder than ever these days. You know, people are training hard and putting the effort in and for Steve to come back and do this, it's awesome. Stoked for him. Rach is near and they're a family. We're not just like a usual team and it's not like just missing a team member, it's they're, they're missing Rach, the sister and and like we act we we do kind of we work a bit differently to other teams, you know, we're not it's not quite the same and when she's not here it definitely affects everybody and um, you know mainly mainly the boys and looking forward to getting her back really. For Rachel now it's dealing with, you know, it's dealing with her recovery, her rehabilitation, dealing with the fact she keeps seeing her competitors, um, you know, really, who somebody else is going to be world champion this year. And that should drive an athlete to be even hungrier. So next year we should see a very, very hungry Rachel Atkinson. Next year, in my mind, right now, there's no doubt that, you know, I'm, I'm just going gonna, gonna to kill it. That's what you need, you know, you need to believe that. And, and I can't wait to... I can't wait to get started. It's, it's like I'm already, you know, in the zone for next year. I'm already there. Like I've started training. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. And everyone else is still messing about this year. And I'm one step ahead. <laughs>